Hello, I'm back with another video. Um, I've got a new controller because my old controller packed it in. Two months I have it, it stopped working. Oof. So this time, let me get my switch. We're looking at a wired controller. Nice chrome red with a chrome goldish finish for the D pad. That's what sort of red chrome for the faceplate. And the back plates are nice chrome gold. And we'll just um, cut that open. I don't know any SMR channel that's doing this. Point the right road. And the back road is my switch box instead of a plain white thing. So there's the USB cable in there. Charge quite shiny. Man, it's for oh wait, no, it's a different language. Wide controller, officially Nintendo, a Power A, a Metroid, a Samus in full form, a special chrome finish, 10 foot removable USB cable, officially not licensed for Switch, two year warranty. This one better not muck up. Um, no, ah. It appears you open it from the tape at the bottom. Let's just give the tape a little, a little snippy snip. So I can get this controller out of its box and test it on the switch. Now, I don't know if it's charged already or what it is doing. Oh, there's one piece of tape. Oh, I missed the box then. So yeah, I don't know if it's already charged, or if I've got to charge it, but it's got a cardboard outer shell, and a nice plastic box, mm. which I don't see how you can do. Sorry about that, I had knocked the tripod over. Um, let me just try and stabilise it. There we go. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got to open this little tab on the back. So we have uh, the, ve the very long cable with a, oh, with a Velcro strap. Oh. A cloth to clean the chrome. Okay, this is top notch. Uh, and instructions. So on the picture of plugging charging it, it's a PlayStation controller. <laughs> that uh, worries me. Same deal as last time. Got that type of bit at the bottom, at the top. Oh wow. This lovely chrome control look at that all nice and right time to see if it will connect to the switch okay this controller but I'm pressing the button Let's just take moving the analog stick. Okay, only for use in dock mode. This ain't that bad. You could then again, the rest of the time just being handheld, really, wouldn't it? So yeah, it's a good controller. Take my advice. <laughs> I don't get a battery powered one. So but look how shiny that is. That's so shiny. Ah, thanks for watching.